What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are back with the Hill Dwarfs versus the Zombros. Look at that little bird thing. And we are trying to acquire all the goodies that were left down here without getting ourselves killed. Uh, and there's lots of zombies. The zombies tend to fall off. It seems to come in waves. So they are dying off currently. There must be times when zombies can survive and times when zombies cannot. Once in a while, they just take a little damage. Uh, that dude left this critter in here. So he rode it in and then walked back out. And now I have... Okay, well, at least it went outside. Uh, why is that thing running away? Oh, it's manhuntering. <laughs> the zombies are chasing it. What's that? It looks like a witch hunter head. They're all, they're never a good quality. Squig skin. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, so, all right, the trade caravan's finally leaving. That guy should bail with him. Okay, let's, uh, what's our threat? Is there any on the map? It appears as if there are not. So let's unrestrict. And let's unrestrict our bear so he can go get some food if he needs. And then we're going to bring in all this stuff. And hopefully this guy doesn't try to kill us, which he probably will. But that's, I mean, it is what it is. Now I have to be wary that any of the people that recently went down, injured, died, whatever, are going to probably come back to life as zombies, but that's not a big deal. Oh, we don't have anywhere to put a mech carcass. What is this? Oh, yeah, we're going to butcher that guy. Okay, so max, max, bam. Okay. Look at that. That's our new image for troll meat. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Absolutely love it. Ah, the stuff Dino does is phenomenal. Jump to location on that. Okay, this is a good thing because it means we're not going to be haunted with a bunch of overhead mountain. There's one tick there. Not a big deal. In fact, I could probably just build a wall there. Uh, we're still actively researching. Let's go see about making our stone cutting table. We do need to get on top of that. Okay, so we can make it out of metal. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it outside. That means i got to build a roof. Why don't we stick it right there? Someone's going to be spending a fair amount of time there. We're getting kind of cramped in here, but... Sort of is what it is. Let's also do a butcher table. I don't have enough material to make it out of anything other than metal at the moment. But that's okay, right? Ah, what is this? I do have a sneeze coming on right now. All right, they are armed with a firearm. Did that firearm that was over here burn up? Ah, it's too bad. It was awesome, too. These guys are going to prepare, but I think we're going to have to go deal with them. Oh, there's another troll, too. There's some contamination. I think I'm going to go deal with these schmucks so I don't have any problems later. Seems like the right play. This guy might come and try and get frisky with us, but if we can just get a hold of him with the magic, we'll be fine. Nice work. That dude's bailing. What'd you leave me, friend? A knife. I'm not really interested in humans. I'm going to try and do a pure dwarf colony here. Uh, bio on you. Not good. Ah, ha, ha. Yes, friend. Six. That's awesome. All right. Six medicine. Those guys are going to come back as zombies. We did retrieve everything we wanted from Dan. I don't know that Matt can stay. Let's go check the meat and see if it has any contamination. No. It does not. Okay, good. All right. At some point, we're going to have to start preserving meat. Let's copy that bill and dump it in here and get rid of this thing. Uh, let's also add a bill. We can make kibble. We need hay, I believe. Or taters. We are getting harvests of potatoes at the... Well, there's some in here anyway. Oh, my God. With the animals getting sick already. This is what's eating up my meds right now. The animal's getting ill. Can you maybe go tend... Nah, let's do that in the morning, eh? It's just a habit of mine when I'm playing my own, these Rim Hammer mods, not to get power going. And there's absolutely no reason for that. I need to get power going. Actually, we haven't done the research, so I guess I can't at the moment. Once we can do embrasures, and then we'll, when we have these downtimes, I'll uh, 
build embrasured walls that we can shoot through. I'll probably enclose this so we have a couple options for geothermal. The dwarves do have a steam vent they can create, um, and it's only really good for heat right now, but eventually it'll expand a bit. This guy didn't never croaked, man. <laughs> Oh, God, he's just going to die of exposure then. Well, I'm not taking him. His spine was shattered by our spell, apparently. As we, I think we hit that guy with the winter blast spell. <laughs> Sucker. Yeah, we have way too much meat, but that's okay. It was all free. We could do some picking up of items, but I just like you always end up with so much wealth. I don't think it's going to be worthwhile. I need to focus on the goals with the main one right now being research to get the embrasures. The second one being making blocks wide open. Can I do this in bulk? <clears throat> Indeed, I can do that forever. Do that forever. But just give me like a, a, a tame radius on it. I know it's outside the wall on the right, but they don't, they don't have access to go over there. And then we can just grab some of these and drag them down. I'll bring that one in too. Oh yeah, we have blocks everywhere, chunks everywhere at the moment. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't <laughs> select something meaningful. There you go. Let's bring those in. They're everywhere. Yeah, prolific. That is a what is that? How that guy get in here? That's a scaven infester. Is what that is. We're not falling for your rat man tricks, friend. All right, so Craghammer is all over it. That's going to slow down the mining, but that's okay. As long as the research and the block making is happening, because we're going to need a crap ton of those by the time it's over. What's the value on this hat? 43 bucks. I need to make some shelves. Uh, let's see. Furniture. Did I have dwarven shelves? I do, in fact. I'm going to make a few of those just because space is going to get cramped in here pretty quick otherwise. And that'll suck up pretty much all this crap. Did you remove my haul command? No. Okay. <laughs> Stupid game. Oh, man. The pregnant goat. The only female we have damn near died there. If that happens, it looks like he's, she's going to pull through. But she is incapacitated due to pain. I wouldn't be surprised if this baby was lost. Uh, we're losing the meat, but that's okay. This guy is still out here. <laughs> is he malnourished yet? Uh, moderate. He's not going to last much longer, so that's a okay with me. I'm going to add some training so we can do shooting training and melee training. Give him something else to do. They're set to do it at a pretty low level, but... I don't think that much matters. I think they'll just do it for recreation regardless. Although you can force them to do it more frequently in order to build their skills up faster. But we don't really care at the moment about that. Oh, the zombies are coming back. Let's see. Oh, no. Tiny threat level. We're A-OK. -okay. What in the Sam hell is that? Willow. Willow the Wisps. I don't know about that. I'm sure they have a shooting attack that's going to be devastating. So hopefully the zombies take the brunt of it. So this is an ancient danger over here. Not going to crack into it. I believe if it's mechs, they will immediately attack the base. There we go. Skills being gained, even though all those damn trees are in the way. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, they're really working it today. That's fantastic. Okay, so we're really bottlenecked by research right now. It's brutal. So I feel like we're very weak and very exposed, and I'm not a fan of this situation at all. But what do you do, right? Feels like uh, you wait it out. The shelves really made a massive difference here too, by the way. I can sell those barrels because we'll do dwarven war machines. Probably at some point... I'll do closed walls and just make an embrasured area somewhere. There's not a good spot because of this water. Like, this is cool to do embrasures because the water really slows everything down. So we can blast the pants. We could even shoot, like, flame cannons over there, and it won't cause a huge fire. And sort of the same over here, minus this little corridor. But the dwarven walls won't be flammable, flammable so... Should be okay in that regard. These guys make corpse stink. Huh. 
The second time they die, they make corpse stinks his corpse stink as well as the first, huh? I mean, we do have space now for all these items I can potentially later sell, so it seems to make sense to hold on to it. Willow, willow. I believe I've entangled tangled with these guys in the past, and they do have asexual fission is how they reproduce. Yeah, they have fire and psychic attacks. I know I've been blasted by them before, so we're just not going to go near them. I think they're pretty tame unless you piss them off, but oh, ah, man. Yeah, the zombie stuff just gets random colors because that should be dark brown. He's actually beating the ogre drum I bought. There you go. Rocket, friend, rocket. Clearing this out just for the shooting range here. I'll probably have to stay on top of it if I don't floor it up. But making lots of blocks. So by the time we finish this research, well, this is going to take forever. But there it is. I like the way the threat comes in waves like this. Like you do get some nice peaceful downtime. The, like you can see, what's that fall that's begun? Uh, what are we going to do for food through the fall? How many taters did we queue up? Only 354. This is a potential problem. <laughs> Um, if we could get through the research, we'd be a okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if we can't get a crop of rice as well. It doesn't last as long, but I suspect it's gonna be pretty cold before too long. And once we're done with the wall stuff, uh, which is gonna be a little while, I'm gonna get power online. We're getting by just fine, and we can do. I think we can do brazers or do I need to research light and heat? I probably uh, I want furniture. Yeah, we're going to have to do light and heat as well in order to get brazers going. Son of a bee. I've run out of steel. This is a problem. Sorry if I sound off today. I'm going up a little bit sick. I'm not happy about it. That's tin. Dwarf leather. Ugh, you son of a... That's really... That's disturbing. Iron ore. There's some steel in the mountain there. Let's see. Select all these on the map. There are none nearby. There's a bunch way over there. Okay, where can I nab some more steel? We can start taking stuff apart. I'm going to need somewhere to put steel slag so we can recover it as soon as possible as well there's a solar flare that doesn't bother us at all bird skin door hey just looking for things i can take apart to get some steel here there's plenty of wall lights but those only take five to build so uh zombies are showing up again now hold on i hear them uh yeah that's the end of that everybody stays inside this fella stays inside too don't do it people this might Sterile tile that'll probably get me some steel and some silver. All right, well, not a lot of options for steel at the moment, man. We can mine this way through here and find this vein, I suppose. Slate, compacted machinery. Oh, look at that. We found what we needed somehow. I don't know where it came from. Maybe someone was carrying it. I did make a zone over here. Oh, that's for slag. This is the metal zone. Except this one. This is for... Alright, there you go. There's the end game for the Rimhammer mod series. There's the end game for vanilla Rimhammer. Rimworld, Rim sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's just do this. Add a bill. Smelt apparel. Do forever. Details. Clear. Oh, a smelt weapon. Yeah, hold on a sec. Alright, we're going to start by simply smelting everything beast man now tell me they had time to go nab that thing i there was some golden armor over here that, there's some basic empire armor too which would be useful but it's poor anyway so where's my boy finish that up where are you going can it smelt a weapon well they didn't already smelt it because it would have ended up here Hmm, what was that noise? Oh, there's a bear attacking a zombie. 
I don't know where it ended up. Maybe I caught him mid haul and he, they dropped it somewhere. Tusk score revenge. So the rip. Oop, there it is. No? What the hell is that? A, I don't need a line cloth made out of squig fur. I can tell you that. Jump to location. So there's a tusk score. It's okay. I haven't seen any animals become zombified yet. I'm going to have to figure out what that's about at some point here. Temps are pretty chilly, but the rice is growing very fast. I should have done rice. I try to find slightly different ways to do things sometimes. And also, like, our dwarves going to grow a bunch of rice. Doesn't seem right. That's what you have to do to survive, I suppose. Oh, look at this dude. He's pooping all over. That sticky sludge crap. Whoa, <laughs> what did that do to you, friend? Didn't seem to do anything. Oh, it's blind smoke. All right, well, different types of zombros are showing up. There's currently 48 zombies. They're sprouting like crazy because that troll was just killing them pretty quick, too. <laughs> it's just really entertaining to watch that. I'm going to build a roof over this for whatever it's worth for the moment. Like, it should only consume fuel when it's being used. I want to know what became of that empire. Appar or that Maybe somebody put it on. That's a possibility. Aha! Where are you at, friend? Drop that. Butthead. All right, allow. Where's my boy, Craghammer? So the thing about gold with dwarves is this little zone here is a gold zone. <laughs> And they will just sit and gain pleasure and happiness from... I don't know what I just lost. That was a meteor. <laughs> uh, let's go here. Messages. Uh, it should have... Sort of hell sounded like a meteor anyway. I don't, I don't know where it is. All right. Well, it's been a day. We did encounter a zombie in full armor that smashed through the wall over here. I thought I was fucking recording and I wasn't. So I lost a few minutes of footage, but... Not a big deal. So the armor Zombros are coming. Our crossbow was eventually able to destroy the armor on that person. And uh, the trolls should have no trouble healing up. They have really fast healing ability. So generally the trolls shouldn't go down from any zombie wounds. But anyway, also uh, I turned off some of the zombie types when I started this whole thing. Because I didn't know what to expect. There's some things I don't find fun. Like... Breacher Hammers. I think it's just a cop-out for cheap AI, really, or for poorly programmed AI. So, I don't know, but as we go, we can I can turn stuff on. We can check shit out and see how it goes. What are you wearing? That is a Beastman <laughs> headdress. So there's no, like, coordination of apparel. Anybody, any zombie can just get any apparel, apparently. Um, people asked in the comments about our pawns so we have a male 150 year old dwarf he was a history student and then he became an engineer he's a quick sleeper he's tough and he's super immune he doesn't do dumb labor or cook or plant work though and we have rose granite hand brunder is craig hammer's name and then we have rose granite hand who is our lore of life wizard a great memory and is trigger happy doesn't do intellectual or artistic but that's okay and then Branny Renolfson, who's a kind, hardworking, 124-year-old female dwarf. Granite Head is 217 years old and is female. So that's our crew. I'm glad the zombies don't just constantly bash on the walls. Where are you headed? Okay. Because you would really spend your time doing nothing other than fixing walls. So we have 69 zombies on the map. I guess as the threat level abates, the zombies die. There must be some level of energy or something in the air. This is going to be a hard... Where are we at? Okay. Three quadrums from now, not including this one. We're going to have a really tough time. There's a lot of zombie activity coming in. More Another mad troll. So the trolls don't just attack the zombies unless the zombies attack them first. And then it's open season, see? But again, the trolls should never go down due to those types of weak things. So we have plenty of food now. We need to get power rolling. I think that's going to be a next best or next decent step. We're working on walls and structure. Then we're going to go for advanced walls and structure for embrasures. I can do an embrasured level of walls. And then I can do an inner level of solid wall. 
maybe some, you don't really need barricades if you're standing behind an embrasure. It's going to be kind of tough over here because, like, where do you put your backup wall? Like, just a few steps back or something? I don't suspect we're going to need a ton of space for a base. But it's going to be tough to figure out where to go here. <laughs> like, how do we reach an endgame? doesn't make sense to try for the Dwarven Hold Reclamation, considering what the world's become. And even if we recaptured it, we may not be able to hold it with all the zombies. Because every of the 150 whatever enemies there, they're going to start rising up. And they're going to become zombies as we're trying to persecute the living out of the base. So that... And I really wanted to do Yayo's Endgame, but that involves traveling around, collecting resources from different biomes. Um, how do I even discover that? Let's see. Research. There's nothing here. I have to go read because I don't even know what to do for that endgame. You probably have to do some research. May not require Starflight basics. Let's see. Nothing. No Yayo. Yeah, we're going to have to go figure it out. Oh, that's interesting. There they are. What are they? It's rabbits. That's not much of a threat. Hares, if you will. <laughs> well, please leave a like if you're enjoying. Leave a comment. I do read them all. I do respond. I think I might build another research table. I don't know what else to do here. <laughs> we need to make progress. That's our number one slow down at the moment so if we can i'm gonna turn this off we're not gonna bring this guy in he's gonna rot before we can make it down there i'm sure and we have plenty of meat so anyway that's it for today guys i love you and i'll see you next time